Hello everybody and welcome to the Learn Dota 2 League Season 16, Week 5. Today, well last game I guess, we saw Reedy just running over the Roxy Roro lineup who was trying to run a type of team that was maybe a little more coordination required than they were putting down there. See what happens this time. This time they do have first pick. I do think even with the big patch full of nothing but nerfs, first pick probably is still kind of the strongest position. It's not quite as bad as, it, not quite as, uh, I guess, unbalanced as it was last patch or the patch before that, but it is still the more ideal place to be, I think. There are still enough heroes that dictate the entire game that having the first pick is uh, just a very nice benefit to have. And there Techies is. is one of those heroes. Last time we saw the Patriots Techies, Rada didn't know how the uh, minefield sign worked, so he killed himself. Oh god. Let's see what happens this time. Oh, Rada. Five seconds remaining. Dying ban, SB ban. Windrunner ban, bounty hunter ban. Yeah, I think Giraffe's played enough games with me at this point to to respect the brokenness of Bara. It's also uh, about 50% of Black Otter's support playtime the last few months. Hey man, man knows what he's doing. In fact, uh, the other 50% is undying, so they've just basically completely wiped Black Otter out. Yeah, it's fine. Give fucking lion, I'll be fine. In the, uh, in the Pages Discord server, Kitty posted an image that's like, has anybody ever noticed that Techies has a leg twitch? And just posted Techies feet pics in the server. And nobody said anything for weeks, oh, so God. every time I, like, looked in that server, just, you know, because sometimes I just browse around, right? Every time I looked yeah. in that server, I just saw Techies feet, whether I liked to or not. Techies feet. Spoilers, oh, I didn't want to see Techies feet. Lion picked up here. I thought. Oh no, wrong person. <laughs> Calm down. I was gonna say I fucking called it, but it's a hero. I wish I um, I've loved Lion for a long time. Not like a Yolk Soup level of love, but like before the hero was just so sad to play. I played a lot of Lion, and now I don't play four, so I still don't play Lion. Now we got a Beastmaster coming up. That is... I would be shocked if Giraffe's playing that. And I would wonder why he hasn't played it all fucking season for our 80 all team. No, the... Uh, Maybe he's, he's been playing it and I just haven't played with him in a long enough time that... I didn't know he picked it up. Uh, this, but, uh, this this could legitimately be a pause one Reedy Beastmaster. He does that? Yeah, he does that. Cool. I'm down. He, he does a lot of weird meme pause ones and matches that he thinks are uh, going to be very bal un unbalanced in his favor. I could also see J-Bay playing it. Could be, yeah. But I think I know G-Raph well enough that, like, not only have I I've never played a game of Beastmaster with him, this just doesn't, like... Seem like one of his heroes. Bloodseeker coming out next, which is interesting. I feel like Bloodseeker is a very reactive hero, and there's nothing for yeah, it to react to yet. It's exactly what I was gonna say. Like, there's nothing that screamed, "Give me Bloodseeker here." Yeah. Cause it. Ten yeah, I mean, you can rupture a lion, but like Beastmaster doesn't really care if he has Lion's to sit still. Dying. Yeah, Bloodseeker is definitely one of the heroes where it's like. You either pick it for the rupture, you pick it for the percentile damage, and neither of those things are here right now. No. Maybe it's to just dissuade the Pangolier, is all I can think of, like, now they don't have to waste a ban on it. Yeah, but that's the team that picks Pangolier. Maybe it's uh, to... Uh... Yeah, but I mean, you can still not want to play against it. They banned it anyway on the other team, so they, now they yeah, super they are going to be playing against it. Visage. Uh, that's another hero that I don't know that Giraffe plays. Are so they going to be running of... back the crazy, dusty, Puzz one Visage idea that he had a few weeks ago? 
Uh, it's either that or it's going mid. I oh God. I highly doubt that Giraffe plays any of these heroes. It's going to be a whole zoo. Uh, yeah. I, ooh, I'm trying to think of it. I, I, he, duh, I don't know. He doesn't play any heroes that would add to the zoo. In my experience, but, you know. You can just build Necronomicon. A little bit. Yeah, easy. Just hack the game, get Necro back. There you go. Invoker. Adam's saying, okay, you guys are going to meme. I'm memeing too. Invoker time, baby. Or maybe that's pause 5 invoker for Black Otter, which is a legitimate possibility that you have to account for in this game. He does that? Well, he plays invoker. I don't think he's ever played a pause 5. Because he's not mm. much of a support player outside of the LD2L. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, when he, uh, when he was doing support on his team last season, he had zero support heroes in his pool. We're going to be picking up the axe here. Well, there you go. That's an easy, easy way to start fights. All right, you're going to yeah. blink, call, and sunstrike. And Peaches is going to dunk in and blink, throw mines. Blink, call, sunstrike, Peaches can dunk in and throw mines, and Bloodseeker can put big silent circles on the ground. <sighs> this is a much easier to execute draft. Yeah, it's a bunch of flakels. Oh, God, that reminds me of my, I think, the last... One of the last games I played with my team where it was Enigma, Tide, Monkey. And I think there there might have been a fourth circle that I can't remember, but it was oh it was so fucking sad. Yeah, that's and true. We had no team fight. Yeah, one of the last games you played, in other words, that was one of your week one games, actually. That was against No, that was week two, that was against Gotham. Yeah. Was yeah, it week yeah. two? Yeah, it was a yeah. game you actually did get to play against Gotham, and then in the next game, you come at him. I am still, to this day, convinced, 100% convinced if you actually get to play that game, too, you just win it. There is no way that Gotham team wins that game, too. No, I, I definitely... Especially if we got to redraft and Cherry got a Cherry hero and not Invoker. I mean, if, if the it, if the but... game that you had, that you, you know, you were paused for five minutes, so you were like, okay, redraft or whatever. If you got to play that game that you were in, there's no way you lose. Uh-oh. There's no way Axe is going to have any fun in a game with an Ursa here. Uh, so Giraffe is going to play one of the two zoo heroes. Or it's a five visage? Or a four visage? Uh, yeah, that's a possibility. I... I would have to message him after this if he plays Beastmaster or Visage and be like, where the fuck have these heroes been all season? Good question. And the answer is going to be, I don't play him, I just wanted to run on that game because it'd be fun. Yeah, it's very possible. Storm Spirit knocked out. AA is an interesting band. Just wants to help keep Are the they... Bloodseeker alive, I guess. I mean, they can't go for Alchemist, but... Maybe they think that, I mean, they might be pick, thinking they're going to pick a five here. Yeah, Ten potentially. Remaining. I think it's going to be Visage four, Lion five. Seconds remaining. Yeah, most likely. Five. It would be funny if both of these teams ended picking a support, but I, I doubt that. Ursa is something Axe hates and Invoker doesn't care literally at all about, which is kind of funny. It's like... As bad, it's, it's a perfect triangle. Like, Ursa just makes Axe not a hero, and Invoker makes Ursa not a hero, at least till BKB comes out. Mm hmm. Which is a nice little funny triangle of interaction there. Yeah, they've been the Warlock, so they, they're fully in on the fact that they think Dying. this is going to be a, a last pick. Five. Yeah, I can tell you, I've seen Giraffe 3 in a couple of places. I've seen him do it in the uh, Mage tournaments. I've seen him do it this season. I've seen him do it in uh, at least one prior season, I believe. It's funny, even though he's mostly a three player, I would say, I do think he has spent more of the time that we've been watching in MLD2 as one. He was doing it in season 12, season 13. Who is this? Sorry, I was. Giraffe. Yeah. 
But and he honestly he's played a lot more support um in it like in pubs and stuff than he has core, but SF coming out here. SF. So there's gonna be a support invoker. Yeah, I, I don't it know. It's gonna be a support invoker. Call me call me old fashioned. Call me crazy. And it's gonna be a support massage as what well. What the fuck? Alright, let's see what G Raph picks. It's Visage! He's playing Visage. Alright. Alright. Yeah, call me old fashioned. Call me crazy. I hate Shadow Fiend into Beastmaster or Lion or Visage or Ursula. This is like the worst looking Shadow Fiend game I've ever seen. Uh, all, all I can. When I close my eyes, I just have a vision of this guy dying one femtosecond into every fight in this game. And that was before the Broodmother came out. Yeah, I I just don't know. I don't know enough mid matchups to really be like, ah, oh, should have picked this. I mean, but I guess the, the SF can clear out the the spiders and push the the two. Yeah, there we uh, go. He can uh, clear Sabo out the spiders. Playing, he's playing four Beastmaster. Yeah, he is. He can clear out the spiders and then get eaten by the big one. Is basically yeah. what Shadowfin can do this game. Yeah, I'm not saying it's it's good. That's just the one redeeming factor here. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like maybe G Raph playing four and Sabo's gonna play three, or they are just gonna truly run the four Beastmaster. I don't quite know. I think they just felt, as they should, super confident. Yeah, I don't think this game is. Uh... Over from the starting gun here, necessarily. It's certainly not easy. Oh, they said I dubbed this the <laughs> Dusty Draft. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, Wait, boy. he's... He does play Visage! Why the fuck haven't we drafted this? Whatever. It's in the past. Well, it's not in the past, because... It's the in the present! Still... Yeah. I, I'm not playing with the team next week in the playoffs because I'll be on vacation, but so, like, it's still in the present. I, I, mean, both, I don't bo know. Both of these lineups are bad. This is, uh... <laughs> this is one of these rare situations where it's, like, it's it's hard to call who wins this because both of these drafts are just vomit-inducing. Oh, and I'm sure j has never played Broodmother. That's, that's for sure. A yeah, real, uh, no symbol. I J Bay has a number of accounts, so I'm a hundred percent positive he's played the hero. Public call out post. Hey, it's not a public call out post. He's hey, you, you want to have a smurfing? So you want to have a public like... call out post? I can do a public call out post real quick. Go for it. Ray Bay Bay almost signed up for this season, pulled out at like the last second, and his account was, it is his, his uh, message was like, oh, I haven't played in months, so uh, I might be rusty, guys. And then in reality, well, he's been playing false. every single day on an alt. On a smurf. Yeah, it's not alt. even like, you can't really call it a smurf, though, because it's so close to his real MMR. Ooh, now that's a Does super that... call-out post, because a smurf is like 2k less than his real account. Is it? No, it's not 2k less, but it's like his real account is like, um... Because like... he's Archon 5 on his... on the former yeah. auto smurf. Denied. He's Archon on the smurf, and he's like, uh... I don't even remember what he is, but I know it's, uh... At least High Ancient on his main account. No, really? Uh, Glico... What can I say? Glicko, uh... Oh, he glickoed. Okay. I... F I haven't paid enough attention to this lane to see who's hitting creeps, but it, it it's Giraffe. Alright. They are just running the 4 Beastmaster. Roxy Roro got blood right level 1. That is... Am I crazy or is that really weird? <laughs> Seems like that's no, the that's... least desirable thing you could have. I've done that. It's just to secure range creeps when you know you're not going to be able to step up to the wave. You mean like that? Yeah. <laughs> that range creep which he totally secured? Mm-hmm. There we go. I'm not saying he's going to do it, but... 
It's the idea. JB, getting Denied. hammered. Thank you. Getting hammered in this land at the very least, which is a good start, if nothing else. Oh, what the hell is happening up here? Hold on now. Reedy killed Peaches. It is level two in Ursus tower diving. You know, I, I get it. I do have a, a not nearly as much as I used to, but I have a deep-seated hatred against techies. I uh, oh, rip boss. You know, I've I've said before about Ursa, and uh, I hope I hope people aren't too mad about this word nowadays. But I've always said that Ursa is a very binary hero. Like either Ursa is just gonna uh, yeah. Either Ursa is gonna own or he's not. And it's as simple as that. Like, either Ursa is gonna just completely eat an entire game, or he's gonna do nothing in it. And basically, unless this invoker is able to really uh, keep the pin on him in this game, which as a support invoker is not gonna be easy, it is. I don't know, like I think a... that his whole job is just gonna be to disarm the Ursa. That's disarm and tornado. Yep. Doesn't sound like a terribly hard thing to do when you're a Platinum Invoker. Yeah, there we go. Just remember that he got Platinum Invoker and not uh, Herald. Like, fuck, I, I barely play... Well, not barely, I do not play Invoker, but I can invoke two spells and just cast those two spells. Well, the issue is going to be that, um... As a support, when you're going to be a Fall Guy, there's going to be situations where it's like... You know, Black Outer goes out to place a ward, and then he dies, and now there's nothing stopping the Ursa. Like, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you get... You know... Oh, even I'm not if saying I agree guy. with it. As a... an odd hero support savant, I, uh... No, I think... I never I got think around the pick to doing this. I think the pick itself is fine. What I'm saying is, this guy has, like, a ten... This guy has a 10-ton piano on his shoulders, basically. I mean, this guy is... Yeah, this, he's got a big literally job. Literally, every bit of success oh, he's got is going to have. Oh, Up. The Trash Boat Classic just took random power, shot, power shots for no reason, and it did not turn out well for him. Trash Boat's not in the league this season, is he? Nope. He uh, had so much fun on his last team, he decided he was done. It's fine, I... I, Axe. Oof. No more. I don't Axe, blame him. Axe is, uh... I can't voice slam back on level zero. <laughs> sorry. Speaking of sorry, these guys are gonna be really sorry if this lane continues getting worse against Earth, but the problem is, what do you do? Wait, did J-Bay say that? <laughs> yeah, J-Bay said he can't voice slam back. He can't voice slam, yeah. But yeah, like... This, this Earth's, uh... Among all the many other things that ha that Ursa has going for in this game, like a lane against Ooh. Axe for Ursa is nothing. Just free, yeah. Yep. Just like his games, Ursa's lanes are also very binary, and in this one, spoilers, Ursa wins. You can't not win. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta be. If you can't win a lane that looks like this is Ursa, you're in the wrong place. Especially right since, like, I could see maybe with the techies. When he had disarm, I think the disarm is even wor like worse for the Ursa than just getting stunned. Probably. It's like the one thing that fucks that hero. And kiting, but. Yep. But the problem is, is that your 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 pause three is still a total melee creep, no matter what. There's two, you know, two to four seconds of, uh, well, two to wait, three seconds wait. rather. Of did DVD buy a Wraith Band? Did I see that, or were you clicked on the Ursa? I was clicked okay. on the Ursa. Yeah, you were clicked on the Ursa. Okay. DVD's not got that far gone see... yet. Jesus Christ. That that is uh, avant avant guard axe build. Speaking of axe, he's about to find out exactly why this lane matchup is so bad, which is to say, um. This hero literally does nothing to Axe, you just call him and die anyway. Cause he's uh well, these furious. This game legs. is uh This game's looking pretty hard. You got an Ursa on a dominating streak. Once Under again six minutes. A very interesting situation where the uh J Bay is down for kills. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a bit interesting. Chibi is yeah. down for kills, but Go ahead. Adam is uh, down for last hits. Look at the net worth chart, they're about the same as a result. Oh, Reedy almost died, and then Patriots blew up the wrong area. Reedy is saying, this is a terrible idea. Did it anyway and died. At least they killed the axe, I guess. And Foss is just gonna get the kill. Yeah, no, that's really good for... For, uh... I was gonna say axe, but Peach just got the kill, so... It's really it's good for techies. Just... It's good. It's a start. It's something. Oh yeah, you stopped the... The utter domination. It is no longer if a... If you had told me there was going to be an Invoker Beastmaster lane and neither of the heroes were cores, I would have thought you were smoking crack. Well, good but news to all are. the crack smokers in the audience. To all the crack smokers in the audience, you were right. Wisdom runes go out. No contest over them. Bloodseeker looking a little dead here. He does have that full stick, but... Goodbye, Roxy. They equally have uh, skills for it anyway. Black Otter was uh, trying to pull on this is happening. This is happening a lot in this season. See, maybe the chemistry or the uh, communications between Paws 1s and Paws 5s is, is uh, think, not like, the ideal, but... Roxy's a like mostly support player, so he'd yep. know. I don't know, that that was like when I switched to carry for a little bit there. It's like when Cryptic said, hey, I'm, I'm pulling. Okay, I, I know what this means. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's a simple comm issue. It's like, if, if Bloodseeker is not in such a forward position while that pull is happening, then everything is fine. Like, he, he loses a wave, but he lost that wave anyway, and then he died. And now he's here, which is probably not really where he wants to be. Yeah, it's better than dying in lane. Yeah, I guess that's true. But there was a uh, there was a middle ground loose. option here. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's the perfect place to be, but... And now Invoker is just screwed. Nope, invisibility is... never mind. Invincibility is cancelled. Never mind. Well, nobody has mana. Invisibility is still invincibility, still in the menu. Nobody has any Honest, mana. I think it was more of a... yeah, it was the EMP. I... the Shadow Walk definitely helped, but... That was more the EMP, in my opinion. Roxy oh, came to Roxy. try and beef with Ursa. He's two levels above, you don't do yeah. this. Oh, Black Otter, what are you doing? Well, the good news is Ursa no has no mana. Yeah, but J-Bay can just sit here and take this tower uncontested. That's a lie. He's taken this tower and it is very contested. Well, it's contested now. This tower went down uncontested, though. Everyone walked away from it, and now it is very dead. They took that, uh, Sabo does have, okay. I was gonna say, they did that with just axes on Beastmaster, but... They did have creeps. Boss just took all of these bounty runes right in front of Bloodseeker. And he's gonna steal his, well, the tiny little portion of his mana. Yeah, the Bloodseeker is getting out leveled by the position 5. This is not boating well. Hey, at the very least, something dinked up Visage real bad. Trying to take back control of their own jungle here using Black Otter and the uh, Shadow Walk as a scout. He's not finding anything, which is exactly what they want right now. Pages, on the other hand, is mining up this area that Ursa has dove into like six times this game. It's probably a pretty good use of the era, earliest proximity mines. Mm -hmm. You know, the best the best types of mines are the ones that you absolutely know are going to be going off at an inconvenient time, and you can be pretty certain those are. Mm -hmm. Mm 
I don't know, I'm really late to the party on this, but I really, really like the new, the new techies. I thought you were only less of a hater than you used to be. I mean, you, you sure I come around to it in the course of one match. Well, I, I, I just, Axis. I don't like the hero for a different reason now. Yeah, there we go. It's like I hated it because people would just like pick techies and put two mines behind the tier one tower in the beginning and wipe the whole wave and then I've got nothing to hit as a pos three or just literally do nothing all game besides play minefield simulator. Oh my god, DVD with like sixty HP there. So close, holy shit. Now it's just a like a, a good hero. This is such an awkward match. Nothing happens so long until oh, that uh, that stun from the visageling there that finally got one kill in this protracted team fight. Yep. This is uh, one of the classic more than one kill per minute Dota games so far. Gonna build Greaves on the Beastmaster. Interesting. Grief Master, yeah. That's what we call him in the business. Oh no, Invoker's got double damage. And he's also got a Urn of Shadows. Honestly, at this point, the Invoker probably should have just, like, died to get an Urn of Shadows charge. Yeah, there we go. You hear that, Black Otter? Just kill yourself. That's what Matty Boy says. Well, you either gotta kill yourself or you gotta get a kill. And one of the two things is infinitely easier. Like, go put some deep wards down and <laughs> die in the process. Can, can, can we just can we just get that on public record? Sure. Quote from Matty Boy: You should either get a kill or kill yourself. And one of those things is infinitely easier. Quote. I'll put that in the description field of this game if I remember. Yeah, you can put that on my tombstone. Bye, Peaches. No, nope, Peach is fine. All the spiders got disarmed. Yeah, that's sad. If nothing else, this team really does not have any good answers to the big techies disarm. It's kind of funny. Oh, goodbye. Nope. Nope. This axe really means nothing axe. right now. Axe, so. why, why, why? Man wanted a kill. Instead yeah, he got but a like, death. boss wasn't low enough to validate that. Hey, Strun here. He just took it. Fastest techies in the West. Oh, there you go. You're talking about bla wanting Black Otter to die. Yeah, like you need. There you go. You need an urn charge to do things. So now you can at least. Now you can at least still do nothing. Because you need competitive well, fights for the earn charge to mean something. Yeah, yeah. Reedy's got a battle fury and a morbid mask, and he's killing this T1 down here, but. What? How'd that happen? I'm gonna assume Peaches got roared. I'm gonna assume uh, no. Roar isn't even Peaches... off CD. She got brooded. Nope, it is not off CD. Just got brewed. And Sabo could hit the axes. Yeah, I mean, they have they have no response to the axe, which are not the axe. They have responses for the axe. They have no responses to the Ursa or the Broodmother in this game, which is just as sad as things can get. Yeah, and it they're so, like, polar opposites in the way they need to be countered that you gotta pick one. But both of them are having really good games, so... Oh, Reedy got oh, the wizard rune! Reedy got the rune. Oh, Jesus. And he wants to get the pages, but it's gonna be pretty tough. Oh, he's actually gonna die for this. Quick, Sebo, turn around their axe. It's not too late. Quick, oh, Diva, miss the calling blade. Oh, oh, I mean, God. that... Yep, those uh, mines paid off. Yeah. This is yep. just like classic, like we're winning this, I don't care type gameplay, right? Like, what does it matter? G Rav got this uh, item combo only ballers get. I like the uh, 
medallion plus phylactery combo. Oh yeah. No, Giraffe knows the builds. He uh, he does some meme shit in pubs, but in uh, real games, he uh, he definitely follows the builds. Axon Invoker, looking for uh, Visage up here, who is uh, not going to be leaving this land. No, I think he might be dead here. Maybe. Uh, um, yeah, he, he's going to die. Is he going to die? It, he's not going to die. Oh, God. Nope. And by the way, while that was happening, uh, two of these they guys' teammates died Adam. a lot. See the uh, alternate universe where we watched this fight instead. How did this go so badly? Oh. That's how? Yeah, this would do it. <laughs> Broodmother didn't even do anything in this fight. That was a typical anti mage team fight contribution. It, it is. It is 16 minutes and reasonably Ursa could have 1v2'd that already. Oh god. Just walking right into Roche. Yeah, just gonna get BKB and they can't really do shit about it. Oh no, Rush. He's not here. It's night time. He's asleep. Wake up, Rosh. Oh, Rosh is definitely awake. Peaches is following him in here. I don't no. think it quite matters. No, Pages is not following Pages him Pages has here. no idea. Oh no, bro. Roxy also just randomly died somewhere else. <laughs> no, this is not yeah, cool! Oh, is this is good. gonna be funny! J-Bay is just mutilating people. And now he immediately pops Ages by walking outside, right? No, he doesn't even go that way. That's so no. sad! He just walks out of teepees. Can you imagine he just walked through that trail of mines? Just yeah, dying. and just dies. There goes Ages. Oh, there goes oh, Adam. Oh, yep. Yeah. Bye, Adam. If you're talking about going in there, try to ult, but... Roxy, Roxy, no! Roxy can't even kill this lion. Oh, Max, Max can't, can't get call zero. off. Oh, Adam yeah, plays a sad trombone. High five invoker. Nope. High five nope. invoker. Invin invisibility, invincibility. Gonna just stalk Reedy, actually, is what he's gonna do. Oh man, and Reedy's not even gonna ship out the, the other items. He's just gonna nope. hold it and buy the BKB outright. I really thought he was just going to jump on this camp and eat it. Oh, they think there are mines there or something. I hate the T2 mid. Ho 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 That's what Ursus sounds like all the time, you know? Yeah. Immortality! So I've been playing Ursa for 10 years now, and like three months ago I finally found out that She's a girl. <laughs> I had no idea. Well, a dim mother would have done much worse, so you should think about that. Yeah, exactly. Ursa's just a boss. You know? Are, are you 100% positive about this? How did you find this out? Oh, one of my friends told me. I don't know, I might be wrong, but I'm almost certain that Ursa. I. This. This person wouldn't bait me, or they might. Perhaps you, know, you should look 50, up the. You, you, you have the option to tab. Out. You should look up the lore right now and see if that's true. Yeah, I will do that. Meanwhile, DVDs is getting eaten by uh, massagelings. Not even real. I was about to say eaten by a spider. It's not even that at this point. Not like I'm really missing much. I kind of can predict what's going to happen here. Chris is going to waste a bunch of skills and not get anybody because they're all right clicking away from him. Yeah. Lion's going to walk into some mines. Greedy is going to go uphill at 20 minutes. 
You know, I stood in for the Roxy team once. And when I stood in for the Roxy team, we were the ones going uphill at 20 minutes. Uh, oh, I, I got baited. Sounds First like sentence, baited? with each swipe of his claws. There you go. Yeah, I kind of figured that might not be the case. I know a lot of people thought that for a long time in early era Dota 2. But, yeah. Well, shoutouts to whoever told Maddie that, because you're full of crap. Yeah. I, uh... I'm definitely gonna DM Abby and yell at her for that. Gonna DM Abby and Costello. Oh no, Ursa just ulted through Adam's ult and just killed him. Oh, there goes the Aegis, but it it, yep. it, it don't quite matter. Aegis is first first life down for the Ursa, also everybody's life down on the Dire except for Roxy. Doing an offensive glyph. Oh god. Adam Cole's yep. the G's, we're going home. 20 minutes. Lots of short games this week, which is nice. Yeah, 50 minutes total. Big Sag. Two O, straight up for the Reedy team, just like basically every other week this season, except the one where they threw one of the games for no reason. Oh god, it's, I mean, what can you say about this? Like, it's two different draft issues in two different games. Because last time, they had a draft that was just too complicated for them to execute, and this time they had a draft that was totally fine for them to execute, except it was terrible for what the enemy team had to offer for them. You know, Axe getting the Ursa into him was unfortunate. I do think you probably should have banned it if you're thinking about picking it in that phase already, because it's just such a hard counter. And it's really the only counter... Like, what other hero really screws over Axe that much? Like, Monkey King's pretty bad, but he's not that bad. No. You know... Like a Poslin Sniper or something is going to screw him up for a long time until he's able to close that distance. But, you know, there's not many things that are going to be comparable. Axe is just ridiculously gone here. He had no game. The Shadow Fiend was really baffling. It felt like it already had no game before the, the Broodmother even came up. Like, it already felt like the Beastmaster, the Visage, the Lion were more than capable of taking care of him. So this time, rather yeah. than picking a draft they couldn't do, they just picked a draft that couldn't win. Yeah. Uh, I... I don't know much, like, what else to say. Nope. Lots of draft-related issues this week, I'm telling you. Oh, well. I mean, yeah. Draft-related. Comms-related. Fun-related. What? What can you do? If you or somebody you know wants to learn Dota 2, I tell you what you can do. You can go to ld2l.gg today. Sign up. It's too late to get into this season. Unless you're standing in. Which every game in the world in this season needs stand-ins. This week was very unusual. Yeah, because most seasons. Th th this game was very unusual because there was only one stand-in instead of the usual five. Um... So plenty of places to stand in. Q's popping left, right, and center. All kinds of fun to be had. And, uh, yeah. Kind of a kind of a bowling shoe ugly series. So something better comes out for these guys next time. <laughs>